Welcome to Teaching and Learning with Technology. We will explore in this short video an introduction to TPAC. So what is TPAC? It's an acronym for Technological, Pedagogical, and Content Knowledge. This is the knowledge teachers use to teach technology-enhanced lessons. Now, because we describe knowledge as a complex process the brain uses in order to make connections between the knowledge bits we've constructed through our learning experiences, you will see that knowledge is often depicted as a cloud, a swirling mass where these connections are made. In the mid-1980s, researchers conceptualized teacher knowledge as a part of this large cloud of knowledge. In the mid-1980s, a man by the name of Schulman explained it in this way. Teachers must possess knowledge about a content area or discipline. This includes facts and concepts related to the content area, as well as theoretical framework of that content area. Teachers need a firm grasp of the analogies and the frameworks that would be taught to explain these theories, facts, and concepts. As well, Teachers needed to know procedures that were used within this particular discipline or subject content area. In the mid-1980s, this subset of knowledge, called content knowledge, or CK, was represented by a circle. Even though we know that knowledge is not a circle, it was just a convenient way to illustrate a body of knowledge. Schulman further explained that teachers also needed knowledge about how to teach, which is pedagogical knowledge. Pedagogical knowledge, or PK, was also illustrated with a circle. Now this knowledge included planning lessons and implementation strategies, as well as establishing class rules, grouping students to provoke learning from each other, setting up class routines, using discipline techniques and teaching strategies to enhance the learning environment. When a teacher was able to blend the content knowledge with the pedagogical knowledge that was appropriate for teaching that content, the blending of knowledge was called PCK, or Pedagogical Content Knowledge. Master teachers seamlessly make those connections between what to teach and the best way to teach their daily planning and implementation of lessons. What is TPAC? It's the acronym for Technological, Pedagogical, and Content Knowledge. What is teacher knowledge? It's the complex process the brain uses to make connections between the knowledge bits we've constructed through our learning experiences. What is content knowledge, or CK? CK includes facts, concepts, and theoretical framework related to the content area and procedures used within this discipline or content area. What is pedagogical knowledge? It is PK and it is about how to teach, such as planning lessons, establishing class rules, grouping students, setting up class routines, using discipline techniques and teaching strategies to enhance the learning environment. What is Pedagogical Content Knowledge, or PCK? PCK includes the teacher knowledge about how to make connections between what to teach and the best way to teach in their daily planning and implementation of lessons. Fast forward to 2006. By this time, the infusion of technology into society has become, as some researchers describe it, so prevalent that it is almost ubiquitous. Because our students are using technology tools on a daily basis, 
This influences the way we teach specific content and even the content knowledge itself. This technological knowledge, or TK, needed to be included in the discussions about the knowledge teachers must have in order to teach today's students. In 2006, Mishra and Kohler modeled this knowledge as an additional circle in the Venn diagram. To illustrate this influence, they describe the overlap of technological knowledge with the content knowledge as TCK, or Technological Content Knowledge. They explain that the teachers now had to have knowledge about the technology tools that were part of the discipline or content area. For example, using probes in science or databases to collect data, have become important technologies for science content, and teachers needed to understand how to repurpose technology tools for use in other content areas. So how could databases be used in math, or probes be used in social studies? This is technological content knowledge, a focus on the tools for the content area and being able to repurpose for other contents. As well, technology was influencing how we teach with the tools. So the overlap between technological knowledge and pedagogical knowledge became known as TPK. TPK includes how we teach with technology tools. It is a critical area for most pre-service and novice teachers because they have not participated in many learning experiences that were enriched with technology. These new teachers need to see how you plan or design lessons that integrate technology-enhanced activities into a lesson, as well as understand how to implement these activities. This type of knowledge includes strategies and techniques for planning lessons where technical skills are taught and pacing lessons so no more than five technical skills are taught at a time. As well, Constructing tutorials that support student use of technology tools during instruction becomes an important teaching skill. And something as simple as setting up equipment properly or demonstrating its use appropriately influences how teachers teach with technology. This is TPK. Now when a teacher is able to blend a selection of appropriate tools, their TCK, with the appropriate strategies and activities to teach tech-enhanced lessons, the TPK, we have TPCK, or Technological Pedagogical Content Knowledge. And you will see it written either as TPCK or TPAC. Either way, it's called TPAC, Teacher Knowledge About Teaching with Technology. Back to our Venn diagram model. At this point, you see that the use of the Venn diagram makes it look that teachers need lots of technological knowledge, or TK, in order to build their TCK, TPK, or even their TPAC. It looks like a separate area of knowledge, and it implies that by focusing in on technological knowledge, the TCK, TPK, and TPAC knowledge will be built. However, we know from 20 years of research that just focusing in on how to use the tool does not build TCK, TPK, or TPAC. Teachers do not develop TPAC in isolation or outside of the context of the classroom. So how are you going to learn to teach with technology? What is technological knowledge? It is TK, and it is the knowledge of teaching today's students with technology. What is technological content knowledge? It is TCK, the knowledge about technology tools used in a content area, such as using probes or databases to collect data in science. Knowing how to repurpose technology tools in other content areas such as the use of databases in math or probes in social studies. What is technological pedagogical knowledge? It is TPK, 
and includes how to plan lessons that integrate technology-enhanced activities and how to implement these activities. Constructing tutorials that support student use of technology tools during instruction. Setting up the equipment properly and demonstrating its use appropriately. What is TPAC? It's teacher knowledge about teaching with technology. Blending a selection of appropriate tools, TCK, with the appropriate strategies and activities to teach tech-enhanced lessons, TPK. It is written either as TPCK or TPACK. In 2011, researchers proposed a new model, one that still uses the circles from Schulman's descriptions of pedagogical content knowledge as a starting point. But we envision technological knowledge as more of a stream of experiences with technology, like a river or a bloodstream flowing through the circles of knowledge in an osmosis-like process. Because technological knowledge is always changing, we feel the connections made between content knowledge and technology and pedagogical knowledge and technology are swirling and changing, ebbing and flowing, just as a fluid being absorbed into a cell. As our society becomes more technological savvy, we envision that river of technological knowledge as rising and influencing even more the way we described content and pedagogical knowledge. If you think of tech-enhanced knowledge this way, you will notice there are still two areas where there are interactions. Teachers need to understand the tech-enhancement of content knowledge and the tech-enhancement of pedagogy. But the rest of technological knowledge is not relevant to teaching, and of course, we know it's not relevant from research. Why should we focus on learning mastery of the tools and the technology when it may not be important to our own teaching. We shouldn't, because it's not the best way to learn and build your TPAC. What we know from current research is that in order to help you learn how to teach with technology, you need familiarity with the tools that are appropriate for the content, TCK, and how to teach with the tools in a classroom setting, TPCK, and very importantly, how this is done as a participant, you will need to learn with the tools so that you can see how to teach with the tools, and that's TPK. So to develop your TPAC, you will be focusing on these learning experiences. You will learn about tools, not master them, but be exposed to a variety of tools appropriate for teaching. That's your TCK. You will also be exposed to a repertoire of activity types that can be used in lesson plans and how to appropriately use them in teaching lessons. That's TPCK. Blending what to teach and how to teach it. And most importantly, you will see how to teach with the tools in Tech Enhanced Lessons. We will model for you how to teach with the tools. We will model TPK. That means in order to build your TPAC knowledge, you will not master any technology. You will be shown how to use the technology tools seamlessly in Technology Enhanced Lessons. Because you already possess technical skills, you may find activities in this class a bit slow or slowly paced. This is on purpose. Your task is to learn how to teach, not how to use the tool. Your pacing for your students should be slower than how you use it. So that will be modeled. This is what principals of school boards are looking for today. Teachers who teach with technology, 
and demonstrate that they understand how to help our digital learners tap into their own skills for learning purposes. The best way to demonstrate to a possible employer that you're a 21st century teacher is to enhance your own digital footprint. So building a digital portfolio and a positive digital footprint are key for this purpose. There you have it. Building TPEC knowledge is building the teacher knowledge to teach effectively with technology. And your digital portfolio demonstrates your ability to teach in this way. Now speaking of modeling, in this short video you've been exposed to a digital story created with the presentation tool that allows you to edit and create short videos. You are already on your way to becoming that knowledgeable 21st century teacher. How to teach with technology. First, teachers need to be familiar with technology tools that are appropriate for their content area. That's TCK. Second, teachers need to know how to teach with technology tools in a classroom setting. That's TPCK. Third, teachers need to see how to teach and learn with technology tools as a participant. That's T-P-K. The new TPAC model. Because technological knowledge is always changing, teachers should not focus on learning technology if it is not important to their teaching or content area. How to develop your TPAC. Building TPAC knowledge is building teacher knowledge of how to teach effectively with technology through first, Learn and be exposed to a variety of technology tools appropriate to your content area, not master them. This is TCK. Second, be exposed to a repertoire of activities used in lesson plans in your content area. This is TPCK. Third, teach with technology slower than how you use it. How to demonstrate that you are a 21st century teacher. Building a digital portfolio demonstrates your ability to teach with technology as a 21st century teacher.